Hey, prayer warriors, God bless you on this Sunday, June 23rd. <clears throat> the month continues to fly by, amen, but that's okay. We get to live forever, which is pretty exciting, amen. So our Bible reading today is Acts chapter 6, and we know there was a kind of thing going on of taking care of people, and that's when they established the ministry of helps, the ministry of deacons, and they said, Verse 3 and 4, therefore, brethren, seek out from yourselves seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continuously to prayer and the ministry of the word. And that's so important that you let the ministers get into the word, get into prayer so that they can feed everybody. Amen. All right, so today our prayer focus is Scripture Engagement and Bible Translation. The states that we're praying for are Alabama, 49% Evangelical Christians, and now we're going to start hitting our lovely East Coast. Uh, Maine, 1.3% Evangelical, uh, 1.3 million, 14% Evangelical Christians. And today we're praying for Monteregro. All right. I'm going to get right into it since it's Sunday, and let's go ahead and pray. Father, we bless you and thank you for a new day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will be very, very glad in it. I thank you for this opportunity to come together and to pray. I thank you for your word that it does not return void. It always accomplishes that which it's sent forth to do. Father, we lift up the 9 and 11 o'clock services today. We lift up every church that's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I thank you that your word does not return void, but it accomplishes that which it's sent forth to do. I pray for every church, Lord, here on the East Coast, West Coast, over into Hawaii, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is to be praised, and I thank you. Thank you for that, Father. Father, we also lift up ministries that are doing a work by your Holy Spirit. We lift up Hands of Hope Ministry with Joyce Meyer Ministry, Every Home for Christ, Andrew Warmack Ministries, and Karis Bible Church. We just thank you. Well, we just thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus' name. We also lift up before you, One Hope, Open Bible Churches, Open Doors, Operation Mobilization, Opportunity International, Partners International, and Pioneer Ministries. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing, all that you're doing, Lord. You're a, <coughs> a great God, and we thank you that you're using all of us some little, some big, some huge, whatever it might be. We're doing it all for your honor and your glory, Lord. It's what it's all about, for your honor and your glory. So again, I lift up every church service, including ours today. Anoint the preacher, anoint the word of God, anoint your people in a big way. To you be all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Father, we lift up our world before you, and we pray, Father, if we see China the other day, harassing the Philippines. We see uh, Russia, Putin meeting with the guy in North Korea. We see what's going on in the Middle East. We pray for our world. We know we're wrapping up, but till that day, we want to keep being prayer warriors, keep being men and women of prayer. Thank you for that. We pray for the people of the world, Lord, and I just thank you. Again, people's lives being changed with the gospel message. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that the Islamic people would see that it's not Ishmael, that it was Isaac. And it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, Lord, help them to see. Open their eyes, Lord. Open their eyes. We pray for the Islamic people right now. We pray for the Jewish people. They got to get saved like anyone else. There is salvation in no other name but the name of Jesus. We pray for the land of Israel. Of course, that's a covenant land, but we pray for the people that they be born again. We pray for the IDF. Soldiers are dying that don't know Christ. They're entering into a Christless eternity. We pray for them, Lord. We pray for them. So we lift up 
the world, Israel. We lift up the United States of America. We pray today for, for uh, Alabama and Maine, Lord, and we pray for these states, Lord. We look at Alabama with 49% evangelical Christians, and then we look at Maine, Lord, only 14%. We pray, Father, we pray for our United States. God, help America. We pray for the states, Lord, every state. But most important, we pray for the American people, that they won't become dull, that we won't become like Europe, that we'll hunger and thirst for the word. Hunger and thirst for the word. We lift up before you one hope. No, we pray for that. I'm sorry. We lift up Jordan. Syria, Azerbaijan, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and Kuwait. We pray for scripture engagement and Bible translations throughout the entire Middle East area here, Africa, the whole area, Lord, that the word of God would go forth mightily. And I thank you, thank you for that. We lift up the prayer cards, Lord, and we pray for the needs of people, Lord, we pray over these prayer cards, Lord. And I just thank you, Father, again, for needs being met. We pray for those that need healing. We pray for those that are sick. I lift up Pat and uh, Dawn and their families, Lord, the things they're going through. I lift up Carla with Howard, Lord, and others, Lord, that are battling different things. So many on these prayer cards, Lord. We pray for the needs of fellow brothers and sisters. Now, Lord, I pray for these precious ones that are here today. I pray as they go off to church today that they'll be filled, filled to overflowing. Lord, you put us together for the word, of course, for prayer, of course, but also for fellowship, Lord. You created us that way, to fellowship with you, yes, but to fellowship with one another. Always excites me when I walk in the foyer, Lord, and just see people having a cup of coffee or tea, sitting around, talking. Oh, Lord, I wish our foyer was twice the size, Lord. And maybe it will be down the road. So we just lift up our fellowship time before you, Father. Now, Lord, we just take a couple moments to wait upon thy Holy Spirit. Oh, kidneys. Somebody's having problems with the kidneys today. We pray over these kidneys. Again, if the Lord is giving you something, please jot it down there. Be led by the Spirit of God. What if I'm wrong? We're all wrong at times. Be led by the Spirit. Kidneys. And also bladder. Somebody's having issues with the bladder. Leakage or things that just, you know, aren't supposed to be there. Oh, it's just old age. Come on. He renews our strength like eagles. Like an eagle. Bladders. Kidneys. We pray for all the nerves in our body, Lord. You created these bodies. They're going to live forever. The new body, hallelujah. And I thank you. Thank you for that, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I come against cancer. Lord, we might not even know if there's a cancer cell that has invaded our bodies. We pray for that. Let me just pray for you right now. Right now, I pray for these, Lord, that are with me. I just come against cancer cells. You die or you go dormant. Just go away. Go away in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, Lord, again, we lift up the services today. Ours and everyone. I want to go home, Lord. I want to go home. This ain't the number of the Gentiles not going to be fulfilled by just one church doing it. We all got to do it. So I lift up every church today that's preaching the gospel, and I thank you. Now, Lord, as we wrap up, we praise you and honor you. We exalt that name that's above every name, the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you so. You're so good. You're so good. To you be all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name, Amen, amen. Hey, God is good. And I mean that, you know, it blesses my heart. I always stand over there by the Welcome Center area and I just look and it just touches my heart to see people fellowshipping, 
getting to know one another. I walk in the sanctuary. There are people, little groups talking. That's good stuff. Amen. Listen, have a great Sunday. God bless. Let us the Lord return. See you tomorrow. God bless.